Okay, we are going to be discussing and doing a little hands-on demonstration about the digestive system and how something like these crackers get to be digested. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to put these in the bag. We're going to do this little demonstration about how crackers and food are digested. So the first part of digestion begins in the mouth. And while food is in the mouth, it gets mechanically digested by the teeth. So now we're just going to simu simulate what teeth do to food. So they grind it up. And also, while food is in the mouth, we have something in the back of our mouth called the salivary glands that produce a little bit of moisture that help to make our food moist and soft enough to swallow. And our teeth mix the food around with the saliva and after it's in our mouth it goes down what is called the esophagus and the esophagus is a long tube that connects our mouth to our the next organ that our food comes to is our stomach and while our food is in the stomach our stomach produces acid which is what this will represent and this acid helps to digest our food and make it into a, a mass that's easy to push along to our new, to our next organ. So in the stomach, this acid combines all of our food. And a movement called peristalsis moves our stomach and combines our food and moves our food to the next organ. The next and probably most important part of our digestive system is our small intestine. And our small intestine can equal about six to nine feet in length. And this is where all the absorption of our nutrients happens. So while our food's in the small intestine, the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas all act on these organs. And that's what these juices will represent. And these organs, or and these, and the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas secrete their juices that help to digest our food. The most important thing that happens is that the nutrients are absorbed and transported to other parts of the body where they're needed. So these other bags will represent absorption of our nutrients. And these are transported by the blood to other places in our body. So the last organ that our body reaches after the small intestine is our large intestine. And what happens in the large intestine is absorption of water, salts, and, and minerals. So this, will, this cup will represent the absorption of water and salts and minerals. So after all of our waters and salts and minerals have been absorbed, our body then is left with a bunch of waste that is no longer needed. And so to get rid of this waste, our small intestine transfers this, this waste to our rectum and our anus, to our rectum, and then is it, ex is it is expelled through the anus in what is called defecation. And so to represent that, we'll just get rid of this waste. 